Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, let's get back to work. All right, so we are working on the Datsun today and this is what we have going on for it right now, so far, for the progress being made. Let me show you. Bam, we have an LS6 intake manifold here with a throttle body that I have purchased probably like a year or so ago. It's been a while, yes, I know. But here we are finally being able to put it on. Obviously, um, well, it's not actually put on yet. It's just kind of like mocked up, kind of test fitted or whatever to see what other parts it came with just to check everything is uh, there, I guess. It looks so good with the intake manifold on. It actually looks somewhat of a complete thing, you know? Pretty hyped. Okay, let me clear something up real quick because I know maybe some of you or someone out there is looking for some answers. The engine that we're using is an LQ4 engine, 6.0, and the uh, intake manifold again is LS6. Why is that important information to know? Let me go ahead and take this off so you guys can see. Okay, so I, the reason I bring it up is because, as you can see, the heads on here are what they call cathedral ports. It literally looks like a cathedral a church, you know, with the triangle thing on top. So the truck intakes obviously come with the same ports as this one. Now the LS6, intake manifold on the other hand do not come with cathedral port they're actually squared ports so is that a problem uh well let me explain because i have cathedral port heads with a squared port intake manifold there's two solutions to this number one they actually sell adapter plates that go between the heads and the manifolds which is an option those adapters cost around 200 bucks Exactly. And solution number two is what I'm actually gonna use. So solution number two is what I have right here. This is solution number two right here. This just came in today. Let me show you what it would it be. This is solution number two. These are the square port uh, gaskets or O-rings or whatever you wanna call them. They came with the uh, sponges here that go on the bottom of the manifold. So that's good. So the solution is just get one of these gaskets or uh, well, actually replace the gaskets on the intake manifold the square port one and then for demonstration purposes this is what it's all about once the gaskets here are in the intake manifold once you set it down as you can see it's gonna cover the cathedral regardless it's gonna cover it's not gonna be like right on the cathedral it's actually gonna be a little bit bigger since the only difference is this cathedral part up here it's just gonna go in rectangular not cathedral so it's gonna seal it's just not gonna have the whole rectangle here so yeah more budget friendly solution i'm not sure about the performance loss or gain or what have you but i really don't want to buy another intake manifold for a cathedral port it just it's not worth it for me at the moment at least so that's what we're gonna go with all right to install these i mean you really can't mess it up they have a little tab this thing has a little tab so there's really only one way to put them you can't really flip them over you can't be really confused on how to put them on they have a tab so they can only go one way in so just literally just put the tab in like so and then just squeeze it in there you go ta-da let's go ahead and put all these on there you go now that we have the gasket in right here all around now what we got to do is put these sponges on which go here and here obviously they have some uh, adhesive in the back just gotta take this off but just demonstration right here so the reason uh i've seen that some people just take these off or not put them on just to have like a quote-unquote cleaner look or whatever but the reason these sponges are here is just pretty much the same reason why we put gasket sealer here on the knock sensors that's because just to protect it from moisture going in there or any other oil or what have you just so nothing can go in there that's why the sponges are important let's go ahead and take the heat stuff off and lay them in there click and fresh down here the sponges are on the gaskets are on now it's time to flip it over finally bolt it down over there and there you go i'll button up I'll tighten it down. For these, the same as the uh, valley cover, I just went crisscross, just bam, 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 bam. Just keep doing the crisscrossing thing. I didn't tuck them down. I just pretty much hand tightened them. Not too tight, because it is plastic. Don't break it. Can't believe I would say that, but I would say that. So 
so tight enough that it won't come loose tight enough for it to seal properly but that's pretty good and it did come with a throttle body thankfully since we are going uh, cable driven and it came with this little sensor i'm not sure what this is yet we'll find out and this thing is missing here and i'm missing a little bolt here so I'll probably take this off, get the, the bolt I need from the other one, from the truck intake. Hopefully it has it, same size and everything. And hopefully it has the sensor with the bolt as well. So we're taking a look at the truck intake manifold here. And it looks like this throttle body has a nut instead of a bolt. And the sensor here seems to be a different plug. Maybe because it's a uh, drive-by cable, or I mean drive-by wire here, as you can see with this thing. But maybe we can use this these little bolts. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like it's back to the drawing board. The little bolts probably do fit. I just don't have the right tool for it. So I'll probably have to buy it. And everything else that I'm missing, I don't know what I'm missing. So I have to do some research and pretty much figure out what I'm missing. On I guess at least for the throttle body and intake manifold for now. You know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's like the saying goes. <laughs> So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content. Follow us on IG, Los Meros Vera. See you guys next time. Peace.